William Shakespeare has a play, Let's Go Out and Cough. The Frivolous has a video, Let's Go Out and Bark. Hi and welcome to another Frivolous episode. Today we have the new Look Fantastic Beauty Box unboxing for February and of course my review on the last products from last month's box. So let's jump into it. Before I go any further, yes, I have cut my hair very noticeably and uh, I basically done the same thing I did in December 2016. I have a video on the pros and cons of shorter hair if you uh, are interested in that and basically if you look it up on the interwebs, if you look uh, lob with bangs or lob with fringe, always the same iconic image shows up and that's what I used as inspiration for my hair. Of course my hair is not the same as the lady on the photo, sadly it's a lot finer but um, it's a good inspiration nonetheless. I just kept it a bit longer because I'm starting a new series very soon and I need to have a bit more versatility but the next time I visit my hairstylist it will go I think a bit shorter because I'm into that. A big shout out to Sandra Muleiru, she always does my hair, she has for years and she doesn't have a professional Instagram account, but I'll uh, leave her um, account nonetheless on the uh, description box down below so that you can DM her. She really understands really fine hair, uh, which is my case, so I'm very grateful I found her. And uh, she also knows a lot about period updos and things like that because she works uh, for the cinema industry also and so yeah she's a great great amazing person and I love her love you girl so now let's jump into the unboxing as you can see a lot of uh, Valentine's Day appropriateness color scheme here my hair is getting in the way inside it says Meraki or Meiraki doing something with soul creativity or love so they are going into the weird words kind of thing. First thing in here is the Caudalie Vino Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. Calling all those with dry and sensitive skin, this is the latest addition to the Caudalie Vino Source family and it is a little gem. With this extra cold weather, your skin can get dehydrated very quickly, so it is important for you to add some moisture to your routine. The serum diffuses water to restore moisture balance and leave your skin soft and supple. The extra grape water and hyaluronic acid added in the formula will give your complexion a radiant and dewy look. With the ability to revitalize your skin on its own, try using as a makeup base. It makes a perfect primer. Hmm. Okay, just looking at the ingredients list, fragrance is quite, quite on the middle area here, so it's in the middle section not even at the bottom. Which concerns me usually because fragrance and hydration don't really go very well together. Yeah, this has this classic sort of botanical uh, cordially scent. Sinks into the skin immediately. It's a very strong scent though. It feels really good nourishing on the skin. I'm just afraid of the fragrance because honestly, if you want a hydrating product, you shouldn't put fragrance in it. It is very well known that fragrance dries out the skin. So yeah, I understand you want your uh, products to smell good and to feel luxurious, but that's one way of going at it. There are others. Next product is Philoga. I have adored a product from this brand previously, the Mezzo Mask. This mask is a real superstar product and here's why. It will give your complexion radiance and luminosity, whilst also diminishing the appearance of wrinkles and helping to prevent them. Ah! Oh, miracle worker! It will also relieve your face of any signs of fatigue and even out your skin tone. Do I need anything else on my life? All of this magic in a cream texture with extra easy application. What's not to like, truly? Too many claims there. I will give you a shot and now I'll, I will call you on it. Apply a generous amount to your face, neck, décolleté and eye contour. Good eyes. Leave for 15 to 30 minutes then remove using a damp cotton wool pad. We like to leave the mask for the whole night to allow the skin to fully absorb all the goodness from this mask. Rinse your face in the morning with, a, with warm water to reveal true radiance and start your routine. So 
curious about this one. I really liked the time filler cream that we got from them that I thought was an eye cream because they said it was. It has a very subtle fragrance. It's not as overwhelming as the Cordially one. Um, the same as with the um, time filler cream. It had a little bit of a scent, but it's not that scent that it just fills your lungs, you know, which really upsets me. So yeah, I will give it a go very gladly because um, I liked that other cream, so high expectations. Next we have the Dr. Pawpaw, Pawpaw Original Multi-Purpose Clear Balm. If you are not already familiar with this multi-purpose balm, then let us introduce you to the Dr. Pawpaw Pawpaw family. These little tubes might look small, but they are oh so powerful. They can be used wherever your skin needs hydration, literally. On your lips, duh, on your face if you have a few dry patches, elbows, feet, cuticles, as a nappy cream for sunburn, skin irritations, you get the picture. In this month's beauty box, you will find the original Dr. Paw 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 multi-purpose soothing balm containing three fabulous all-natural ingredients. Fermented Paw Paw fruit, which is papaya, oh, aloe vera and olive oil, making this balm a natural beauty must have. Just apply it onto your lips and everywhere else you need. We like to use it as a highlighter during the day. If you just pat a pea-sized amount on the top of your cheekbones, it will look like the most gorgeous dewy highlight. If you want to go a bit bolder, try it on your eyelids and say hi to a gorgeous glossy look. This is Vaseline. So the main ingredient is petrolatum and then it has the other oils. So keep that in mind. Because this has petrolatum, I will not put this anywhere near my face because my skin bursts, as you probably know, with acne, with anything that is mildly comedogenic. Um, but yeah, I would not use this on my face, as I said, not even as a highlighter, although I understand. But you would have to pull your hair out because this stays on the skin and it will get your hair sticking to your face, which is not pretty. But I will try it on my lips and see how it goes. I usually get along quite well with Vaseline products for my lips. Not my favourite. I prefer Lanolin. Uh, Lanolips is a really good one. And I love the Bite Agave Lip Mask. Unfortunately, I can't get a hold of Bite here in Portugal. So yeah, always on the hunt for the next best thing. Next we have a makeup product. Yay! This is the Bella Pierre Shimmer Roll-In Champagne. The perfect product to complete your rendezvous look. This easy application shimmer roll will leave you with an instant glow whenever you need to add some glam to your look. We selected a colour that will work on all skin types. Types? Tones. The word you're looking for is tones. Whether it is applied as an eyeshadow or as a highlighter, you can use to help create a full look by applying all over the eyelid or just use a touch in the middle of the eyelid to make any colour underneath pop out. When blended in, it makes a perfect highlighter too, so be sure to add a touch of sparkle to, do, to those cheekbones as well. Speaking of that sparkle, try and add some on your collarbones when you wear a décolleté. It's such a, you wear a décolleté? Is that a term? I'm not native, so I don't know. Put it on your décolleté, you're wearing a décolleté. Never mind. It's such a nice touch to add some glamour, glamour and shine to your outfit. So this is very similar to the NYX roll-on shimmers. Uh, I have one in blue here. And it has, um, it has eyes and face on, and body on the lid. Oh, the sound, the sound. There you go. Uh, a bit of product falls down when you press the roll on, so yeah. It fell on my hand when I was applying it, so I'm a bit wary of fallout on my face. But let's try it nonetheless. I'm not going to wear any primer, but this would be nice with some glitter primer or uh, shimmer primer. Yeah, it falls down a little bit. I'm just trying to be really careful and then blending it out with my finger. It looks really pretty though despite the application me method not being the best. It's not the most precise, you know. It's beautiful, it's a champagne-y colour. Let me get close if you can see anything. 
let's try it on the cheekbones. I already have highlighter on, so this is going to be overboard. It's nice to apply with this because it's, if you use loose powders, a roll-on is a good way to go. But this does not have any liquid to it, so it's just a loose powder when you blend it. It's quite creamy when you uh, use it, um, when you press it with between your fingers, but it doesn't have any kind of emollient or liquid to make it stay put, so I would use this with uh, some sort of a glitter primer. I'll let you know how it goes, but for now I'm just happy I have makeup to play with in this box. Where is it? Oh. Trifle Cosmetics Sublime Lip Scrub in Sugar Pear. A crunchy sugar scrub that will make your lips as soft as butter. It is formulated with cacao butter, sweet almond oil and pecan seed oil so that it hydrates and nourishes your lips while taking away all dead skin cells. To make this product even more heavenly, it is infused with toffee mixture and pear extract. Mm. Using circular motions, scrub your lips until smooth, wash it off with some water. So you should wash this off. You can't eat it like the Bite Agave uh, lip scrub and the uh, Lush popcorn scrub. They taste so good. It says it's 100% cruelty free. So good to know. Made in Italy, doesn't have the uh, ingredients. It is a thick, um, pasty cream with the sugar on it. Oh, it feels really gritty. You can actually feel the sugar. Oh, this smells so good. See, this is one of those things. Since it's on my lips, I don't mind having a scent. And this does smell of... Oh, God. I would wear a body um, cream with the scent. It does smell of toffee and pear. It's slightly almost cinnamony. I, it's really, I really like, it's not a really good scent because it's so subjective. I really love this scent. Now I'm all covered in scrub. You can't eat it, so I can't lick my hand. Uh, and that would also bring me the wrong kind of viewers, so yeah. Last product in the box is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, a bestseller within the skincare world. This cream is as famous as Chanel Numero 5. Ah, Chanel Numero. I think it has... Uh, never mind. Chanel Number 5. This cream is perfect for all skin types and is designed to increase hydration and help improve the appearance of dull skin and fine lines. Super hydrating, yet not sticky. The lightweight formula ma makes it perfect applied as a primer. Again, another primer potential uh, product. The powerful anti-aging ingredients of the award-winning Pro Collagen Marine Cream have been shown to reduce the depth of wrinkles, improve skin firmness and hydration as little, in as little as 14 days. Impressive. Place onto your hands and warm together before application. No, I won't waste product, sweetie. Then gently smooth over the face, neck and decollete every morning. Fragrance, oh my god. It's, it's a huge list of ingredients and the fragrance is about here, so it's one third uh, down. Oh, this is award winning? It's such an intense scent, I can't begin to tell you. It's so strong, it's perfumey. It immediately went from here to here and gave me a headache. And it's taking over the whole room, I can't smell anything else right now. <laughs> I honestly don't recognize, just diagonally reading the ingredients list, I don't recognize any amazing spot on ingredients. It's so overpowering. I don't know if I'll be able to try this out uh, for several days in a row because this is very strong. This smells like a very strong body lotion. So yeah, this was this month's box. I really like the Bella Pierre. I'm excited for the Philorga. Um, I will try and the uh, lip scrubby thing. The Pawpaw ointment. Let's see. Let's see. The Caudalie and the Elemis products, so much fragrance. I don't know if I'll be able to handle it, we'll see. Now let's talk about the products uh, from last month. I have to be really honest with you, the Espa uh, Pink Hair and Scalp Mud. I haven't had the chance to apply this because you need to wet your hair, apply this for 20 minutes and then shampoo. 
my life has been too chaotic for that. Next product I can talk about is the Monu uh, Spa Warming Ginger Bath and Body Oil. I use this as um, a body oil at the end of my shower. Again, I haven't had the time for baths. Really enjoy this. The scent is really good and energizing but warming at the same time. Really liked it. I, I wish this would have a stopper or a sifted something so that it wouldn't just um, come out uh, all at once. It smells like my favorite ginger tea, which is a lot of ginger and not much water, so I really love it. You may not. I felt like it was uh, hydrating like most oils are on the skin. I like to apply oil on top of wet skin. It felt really good. Points for that. The Balance Me Congested Skin Serum. It felt really fresh and lightweight on my skin. Maybe if you're using this as a serum, as in applying this every day, if you are oily, this will, with time, uh, bring some benefits and clear your skin. I haven't used it like this. I just use it as sort of a spot treatment and I didn't notice any amazing revelation revolutions. I didn't pick up the 3D Lash Primer from Model Co. again. It's just an extra step and I'm I'm too lazy, I can say. And the effect I get from this, uh, by layering this under a mascara, I directly get from the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now, the next product was the Cora's White Tea Fluid Gel Cleanser. I used this once. This is a foaming cleanser. I can bear <laughs> foaming cleansers if my skin feels comfortable after f f washing my face. And what happened was this immediately. <laughs> my skin felt so tight and dry after using this, I said just no. It did not have any sort of weird uh, reactions on my skin. It smells quite nice because it is, everything smells of that cream regardless, but I remember this smelling quite nice without being inv invasive. I don't mind that on cleansers because I'm going to remove them, they're not going to stay on my skin, but this really stripped my skin of any sort of life and hydration, and that's not the kind of thing for me. Last product, Enter Rant. This is the Erno Laszlo, let me go get the name correctly, Light Controlling Lotion. This uh, retails for 50 six euros 40 for 200 mils. This is expensive, right? So let me just try to be nice. Bear with. I'm no chemist. This is a disclaimer. I'm no chemist. I may be completely wrong, but it's so expensive. It has to be fancy. Water, denatured alcohol, which is the most drying and irritating alcohol used in alcoholic beverages is the second ingredient. Then you have glycerin and a surfactant that is okay, and then you have perfume, fragrance, and then you have a preservative, and then you have, again, a selection of essential oils kind of thing that provide scents. That's all there is to it. You have water, alcohol, a bit of glycerin, and perfumes in several different ways, and the preservative things to keep it in this form. It smells really nicely of a almost herbal or botanical aftershave, but I wouldn't put ethanol on my face, vodka. There is no reason for this product to be 54 euros, or 56, or whatever it is, 56.40. This is the first thing. The second thing is denatured alcohol on your face is bad. And it has been proven it is bad for a long, long time. This is a high-end kind of brand. I don't understand it. I honestly did not try this product because I don't want to put alcohol on my face. There is just a limit to how much of a guinea pig I am for you. And that's where I draw the line. I was really disappointed and really angry to be honest. Again, I may be completely wrong and denatured alcohol mixed in with water and glycerin may be the potion of the gods for your skin, but I don't think so. So with that rant done,
going back to my softy self. Thank you for being there. Thank you for spending your time on me. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Support the smaller YouTubers. Give me likes so that the likelihood of my videos showing up at the suggestions sort of section will go up. Although, <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, be there. Comment down below. Interact with me and with all the other viewers and uh, thank you for being there. Have a great week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!